Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to take a backup of all the app data on your phone and then restore it as well using just the ADB commands. So let's get started. First and foremost, we will show you how to take a backup of all the app data at once and then we will show you how to take a backup of individual app data. Likewise, we'll also show you how to restore those data as well. All of these tasks will be done via the ADB commands. So first and foremost, you will have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to the settings menu on your phone, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system and you should now see the developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on OK. And with this debugging is enabled, let's verify the same. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to get hold of the app package name as well. So for that, there are quite a few ways through which you could get hold of the app package name. So I have made a separate guide on the same as well. So for instance, you may take the help of the app info page. For example, if you long press on an app, then go to app info, then you should get hold of the app package name from here as well. In, in this case, as you could see, it's com.android.chrome in case of Google Chrome. Apart from that, you may also take the help of a third party app such as the app package viewer app. It's a third party app using this app. Also, you could get hold of the app package name or you could simply go to the Play Store and get hold of the app package name. For instance, in the Play Store, just check out the section next to the ID equals to. So let's make a search for download. Let's say download Chrome play store so let me show you how to check the app package name so go there on the play store for google chrome and everything after the id equals to and before the and hl you may re remove this so and as you could see this is the package name com.android.chrome so everything after the id equals to will be the app package name so in our case it's the com.android.chrome so you may verify the app package name from the play store using third party app or directly from your phone as well as i've shown you Anyway, once you have got the app package name, let's now move ahead with the next step. So now first and foremost, I'll show you how to take a backup of all the app data at once. So simply copy this command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And you will see that you will now get a prompt on your phone. So now if you want to encrypt this data via a password, then type in the password and tap on backup my data. On the other hand, if you don't want to encrypt the backup then leave this field blank and tap on backup my data and the backup will then start and it will take up to around 10 to 15 minutes or even longer depending on the number of apps installed onto your phone once the process has been done you will get a file known as backup.ab and in my case the total file size is around 1.6 gb so even though it's not visible here the file size is not visible here but in fact it's around 1.6 gb in size and over here in the command you could name change the name the backup is then the backup is the name of the backup file you may give it any name of your choice and ab is the extension which stands for android backup so this is the backup which i have just made and once the backup has been done you will get a file inside the platform to photo on your pc next up you will now have to restore this backup and if you want to restore the backup then for that you may use this command let me show you Simply use the adb.exe restore backup ab command. So use this command, type in this command in the CMD window. So let me show you, type in this command and hit enter. And once again, you will get a prompt. So if you had initially typed in the password and made the backup encrypted, then you will have to again type in the same password and then tap on restore my data. On the other hand, if you hadn't made the backup encrypted, then simply leave the field blank and tap on restore my data and it will then restore all the app data at once. So with this, we come to the first half of the guide in which how you could backup and restore all the app data at once. Now let me show you how to make 
the app that of individual app and then restore them via adb commands so for individual apps you will have to take the uh, note of the app package name so for instance let's say google chrome it's the com.android.chrome so for that let's first take a backup of this app so the syntax is this command let me show you this is the syntax so the syntax is as follows let me paste the command here and as you could see adb backup apk package name f package name backup so you may change the you you will have to change the package name with the name of the package which in our case is com.android.chrome let me verify it once again com.android.chrome so simply change the package name of the backup file accordingly and keep the rest of the command same once that is done simply hit the enter key and you will now get the backup of the chrome app so you will now first get a prompt on your phone again if you want to encrypt the backup then type in the password so let's encrypt the backup and assign you the password let's say the password is test so let's give it a password and type in backup my data it will now backup the google chrome and all its data as well and will take only a few seconds as you could see we have got backup finished so let's go to the platform tool folder and as you could see we have got the google chrome backup along with its data file so now if you want to restore this data then all you have to do is simply type in this command adb restore backup name dot ab so copy this command here and as of now the backup name in our case is just to re-verify the backup name is com dot android dot chrome dot ab so let's rename it and hit enter and it will now restore the data so first off it will ask you for the password so type in this command and hit enter and you will now get a prompt so since in our case the data was encrypted we will now have to type in the same password to decrypt it so let's type in test and tap on restore my data it will now carry off the restoration it will take only a few seconds and as you could see the restore has ended and the restore is now complete so you may use this command syntax to restore the data as and when required so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching